Okay, uh, what I'm going to try to show here is just a simple solution to what I think is a ridiculous problem with SSIS. Uh, so typically, if you wanted to do an update as opposed to an insert uh, with SSIS, you have to go through this OLADB command. So you've got your source, you go into your command, and then in here, you would have to map your columns up and then you would have to write your SQL command update column or update table set column equal to parameter one where let's say call two equals parameter two so you got to parameterize this and then you got to map it all out and set your input output and make sure that your parameters are all going in in the correct order. Uh, the problem with this is that it does the updates one row at a time so it takes forever so if you have let's say a million rows here in your source however many rows still painful you're gonna send that many so one million update commands to the database and that's just a total resource hog uh, so there's really not a graceful way to do that it's built in I believe the next version of SSIS has uh, what's called a merge process uh, so here's how we would do that currently in SSIS so we would start with an SQL task end with an SQL task and then have a data flow in the middle so our first SQL task is going to be so what we're going to have to do here is create a like a staging table for the update data. So instead of doing these updates one by one, we want to do them as one single update statement to do a mass update. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is obviously in SQL Server or wherever it may be, create this temporary ta uh, staging table. So in my SQL task here, I'm going to just create a SQL statement and I'm going to truncate that table so that we always start with it clean. So truncate table blah. Well, let's just do uh, whatever. Truncate table and it's the staging table. That's all I really need to care about. Okay. So in my data flow task, this is where I'm going to take it from the source and I'm going to do whatever with it. Uh, let's say drive column and then I'm going to throw it into my destination table. So we can do whatever we want here, derive columns, uh, whatever need transformations we need to do. But ultimately, I'm saving here. So here's my source. Uh, let's say I've got all the rows here. Well, by the time it gets to my destination, all I really need is the data that's going to be updated. So if it's only one or two columns that are eligible for being updated, uh, plus the primary key if all of the rows are uh, possibly going to be updated then I would send them all through with the primary key so uh, let's say for example uh, I wouldn't necessarily need to pass through any of the auditing flags or um, last mod date or anything like that because those aren't going to be updated those are going to be some kind of static value with the current date whatever it may be so say I did a select star Uh, and I get all of these rows coming through. So my drive column is going to pass them all through. Uh, and then in my destination, I may only want to pull in a few of these. So yeah, in this case, I'm just trying to make a quick example. I can't really do the mapping. But let's say I only want to pull in the, you know, the course ID. And then in my case, I'm only going to be updating latitude, longitude, and accuracy. So I don't really need all that other data, data to pass through. So the ultimate uh, destination here is going to be the staging table. And it's just going to be a fast load insert straight into the table. And I'm going to go back out here to the control flow and after that ends up in the update table with all of the, the values that need to be current with my primary key. Go back into here and do another 
um, SQL task. And let's pick my connection. And then my SQL statement is just going to be a really quick, uh, it's going to be a join update. So I'm basically updating uh, my target table, setting you know the, uh, the destination field equal to the source field from the two tables and I'm interjoining them by the key that I've passed through. And that'll do everything we need to do. So ultimately what we're ended up doing here is in our data flow, well let's start over. We're going to truncate the staging table then we're going to go through our data flow. We're taking everything from the source, doing whatever we need to do with it, and dumping it into our update stage table, making sure that we have retained the proper uh, primary key, foreign key. And then we're going to do our SQL statement here, which is going to do an update with a join, which is going to update the, the destination table with the source values. And that's how you get away with it being very much quicker than using the OLEDB command. So I hope that helps. Enjoy.